today I'm going to be doing a medical assistant tag and Sandy C um, tagged me three months ago and, and I am just now getting to this video. So let's go ahead and get started. First question is, do you have a certificate or a degree? Now I did my school or my program in California and normally for big hospitals here you don't really need a degree like you don't need to get certified you just need your certificate so I just went ahead and did my certificate I can get my degree however I would need to take my test and you know get certified as a CMA so I'm not certified yet I just have a certificate I work for a really good paying hospital here in California in the Bay Area so I don't know my job doesn't require it so I just kind of feel and I've been here for like three years so kind of feel like I don't need it but I would like to get certified as a CMA how long did it take you to become a MA? So it took me one semester of the program that I went to was um, here in the Bay Area and I did the front and back office. So each program was a semester. Normally if you do the front office, you don't really, if you do the back office, you don't need the front office but I was like skeptical about where I wanted to work either the front or the back like reception medical assistant or back um, so yeah uh, it took me a semester in a semester in the college community college that I went to and that's like around four months for each program mind you I did both front and back um, are you credentialed and if so through who if you do not want to become credentialed? I think that's I don't know Yeah, I think that's a certified. I'm not certified yet. So Yeah, yeah, I would want to do it just in case you never know um, I would do it for sure. Do you wear dance skills or sneakers? I'm pretty much wear sneakers most of the time. I do have some dance goals, but they kind of slide off my feet. I think that you're supposed to wear, you're not supposed to wear socks with dance goals, and I do wear socks all the time, so my socks kind of slip. I do like them, the dance goals are very comfortable, but most of the time I'm wearing sneakers, Nikes or, you know, Air Maxes or something like that. What is your favorite brand of scrubs? My favorite brand of scrubs is the Butter Soft ones that I get from Uniform Advantage. And I like those because they have scrub skirts. And I wear scrub skirts to, to work, okay? They have a variety of colors, if you didn't know. What is your favorite brand of stethoscope? I actually don't um, have a stethoscope. We did, I did purchase one when I started my program, but for my job, we don't use one. So I think I, when I was in the program, I just bought like the cheapest one that I uh, could afford. Do you prefer taking blood pressure manually or an electronically? So here at my job, we do our blood pressures electronically. But if I had to do it manually, I could definitely do it. We just don't have this, the equipment here at my job. Uh, what do you always keep in your scrub pockets? Let's, let's find out. So I have a highlighter and two pens and a piece of candy right here, which I'm gonna have right now. Is there a certain task you really enjoy doing that is part of your job? Um, I like the, like the paperwork stuff, like putting the labels and um, entering documents on like Health Connect and, and all that stuff. Um, I also I work in the OBGYN department. I love I love working with the prenatal patients and seeing how much their bellies and babies grow. Um, yeah, pretty. I, I love the OBGYN department, so I love everything that I do here. So the other question is, is there a particular that you enjoy? Yes, I enjoy the OBGYN department. I don't see myself working in other department. Unless it's like the breast cancer clinic. I love working with women's health. So unless it has to do with, you know, something with women's health, maybe I could do pediatrics my first paid externship was actually in pediatrics so i mean i could i think i could do pediatrics or women's health or either like a breast cancer clinic or something like that 
um let's see what made you decide you wanted to become an a ma so i decided to that i wanted to become an ma when i realized that i couldn't afford to go to nursing school full time or do my prerequisites for the nursing program i do have a family so me and my husband decided to do the medical assistant program and yeah and now we're gradually working towards becoming nurses taking classes every other semester and it's fine i know it's going to take a really long time but it's what we can do for our family right now so do you want to go back to school to become a nurse yes okay i didn't read these questions before but yes i do want to become a nurse i would love to become a nurse practitioner that is why i so currently I work with a nurse practitioner and I kind of watch everything that she does so that I can gain experience and ga gain confidence. So when you or when I, um, God willing, later want to become a nurse or a nurse practitioner, I kind of, you know, I'm slightly confident. I, I've worked with a nurse practitioner. I've worked with doctors. So I feel like you learn from them. And yeah, so yeah, I do want to go to school to become a nurse. And yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much, Sandy C, for tagging me. I tried to find other people on YouTube to tag them, and I didn't find anybody. Let me know if you know another medical assistant so that I can tag them, because I couldn't find anyone else on YouTube. I think everyone that's a medical assistant on YouTube already was tagged, so yeah. All right, see you later, bye. Peace and blessings.